Hello YouTube viewers, this is my Raspberry Pi fitness bike project. If you haven't seen video 1 or 2, maybe that's a good idea. This is video number 3 and uh, last time I uh, stopped here with uh, the troubles I had with the XML reading. But uh, now I have found a solution where I can uh, read the XML file without any errors. I, on the, this page here I found a way to read the XML files and get all the data uh, I want. Uh, shortly after I found this code and, re and uh, rewrite it, um, Stephen Gilbert here also write to me that uh, wrote to me that um, the code already exists on the internet. So it's always nice when people are willing to help. This is how my code looked like. Uh, it's almost finished in a demo mode or, simu or simulation mode. Here I have uh, the pacing of the XML files into uh, useful data. Uh, here I get the long and late and elevation into a list so I can use them later in the program. I just print them here for to see what's happening. And uh, here I calculate the whole distance and here I get the distance between the first late and long and the second late and long. Um, I here found on the internet uh, how to calculate the distance between the uh, two points. Uh, here is a Javis drive and I just uh, rewrote it to Python. Here. It was uh, very easy for me because uh, Python already has a lot of uh, mathematic functions. So and it's in kilometers, so that was lucky for me too. Uh, and here is the main program. Um, here I uh, open the file, if it's a command prompt. And uh, here I get the, the total numbers of uh, let and lun a lot of data and get the let and lun into this tool list here and the elevation too and here I calculate the distance and uh, here I get the total uh, elevation and up and down but uh, it seems to be a calculation error but uh, it doesn't matter I'm not using them in the pro program here the program starts with uh, by moving the motor in the start position. Um, here I have a picture of the motor, the back size of the motor. Here is the optocoupler that's counting every time the motor runs one turn. And uh, this is the small print I'm going to connect with my Raspberry Pi. So um, I have here also a little video. Uh, this is the start position of the motor and the magnet bar is drawn all the way back. This is step one. You can see that's uh, a long move the motor makes here. And the next step is about here. It's uh, not so long. So uh, this here is uh, the start position of the motor. So at the start of the program, I have to move the motor to the start position. So and now here, here I get the distance between the two points, and uh, here I print them out and the elevation, and uh, here I save the next elevation. Hello.
I save the elevation for the next move. And um, here is where I decide if the motor is going up or down. And um, this is the program where it's uh, detect if the motor is running and count up or down if if it's up or <laughs> if the elevation is up or down. And uh, when it reaches the zero point, it stops. And uh, uh, here I now detect the cadence sensor and minus it from the distance for every turn of the pedal. So this uh, value here is uh, how long the bike moves every time you turn the pedal. So it's up to you uh, how long the, you think your bike is moving. It's depending on what gear you're in, uh, simulating what gear you are in. And here, when the distance is reached and the elevation is reached, the program breaks and the loop breaks and oops, and go to the next point. So, uh, and here when the program stops, the motor runs back to zero again. I hope it, it wasn't too boring. <laughs> but uh, you can see here, it runs the program here in simulation mode, of course. Um, so, this is the first point and the first elevation elevation and distance in meters so uh, when I press M on the keyboard it simulates the motor so every time the motor turns one time uh, one round and uh, when it reaches point it stops and uh, when I press C on the keyboard it simulates the cadence and uh, it counts down meters how much I move, or simulates what, and, uh, and it's jumped to the next point and the next, and, uh, next destination. So uh, that's how it's worked now. And uh, now I have to make the connection to my Raspberry Pi, and that will be in the next video. I still uh, need some spare parts to make it work. I have ordered this um, relay here, relay module, model, <laughs> but uh, I haven't reached it. I ha they haven't sent it yet, so it will be a couple of weeks before the next video. So if you want to see the next video, remember to subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave some comments.